Hi, this is Shannon of Seraphim's Keep, and this is the insight for the month of April. And for those of you who are new to the insight, um, I pull two cards from my deck, the Words to the Wise Oracle, and I pull one for the physical plane, which I call Earth, and one for the spiritual plane, which is Heaven. And I combine these two cards together, and the reason I do that is because we really have two aspects of our personality that we need to have in balance to be successful. We need to have our day-to-day -day life um, that we do that involves our challenges and our successes and then we also need to have our spiritual purpose you know the purpose when we walk in and say why am I here what is what am I supposed to be doing that's the part of us that also needs to be considered so we can really accomplish our goals so the cards that got pulled for this month on the physical plane was a card called interconnectedness and I, I don't even know if that's actually a word but that's what I called it and it's about us all overlapping. It kind of takes the concept of we're all being one um, and the fact that something that happens to us can also influence somebody else and it accumulates. And then the card on the spiritual plane was a card called Chaco Canyon and Chaco Canyon is a, um, a special place out in New Mexico and um, when I visited there I did this artwork because it had so much energy. There were so many memories and vibrations all coming in at once and converging, you know. And so it made it a little chaotic um, if you didn't really stay centered yourself. So Chaco Canyon is on the spiritual plane. So when I read these two cards together, it really tells me that April is going to be a month of upheaval. Uh, it's going to be primarily spiritual upheaval, but it's going to make you feel disconnected in your physical world. It's going to make you question, um, I always drove this way, why... Maybe I should drive a different way today, or it's going to make you double check things and you don't know why. You've just got a, you've got a feeling something doesn't feel right, or you need to be careful really to not be nitpicky with others because it will make you, you know, if somebody does a job, want to go back and check it and make sure they didn't forget something or double check something. And it's a bit of a tough energy to have around tax time, um, so you might find yourself going through your receipts seven dozen times. Um, but it does start to ease as you go into around the 13th of April, but for most of the month, there is this energy of, I need to double check something. It doesn't quite feel right. And I really think this card and this month is leading up to an awakening. It's leading up to us being able to handle more. Um, it's being uh, directed to show us that certain things in our lives, we've kind of gone on blinders and just done it without thinking. And now we're kind of looking at it and going, ooh, uh, maybe I, I should have looked at that sooner. What have I been letting slip by? What have I not been paying attention to? That's kind of the general energy. So um, April is going to be a little bit of an unsettled month. It's definitely a month to really not project onto others what's going on with you. So if you wake up one, one day and you feel a bit cranky and you feel a bit out of sorts, don't throw it off onto the other person because it really is this energy. You know, and I think those of us that are more sensitive it will really kind of give you a sense, it's that feeling, and I hate that feeling, of, of feeling something is happening. Something is about to happen. You don't know if it's good, you don't know if it's bad, you just feel it there. And, and it's that sense of, oh my Lord, just let it happen and get it over with. And that's what April's energy is about. It's about that feeling of something is brewing, something is happening. And you're going to be looking into your physical things, thinking that's where it is. But it really isn't. It's more in your spiritual life. So I guess it would be a good month of, you know, praying more, meditating more. Um, don't sweat the details. Just go for a walk um, out in the country or, you know, go to your favorite coffee shop and have your cup of coffee or your cup of tea, whatever you do, and kind of try to be at peace more spiritually because you're not going to be able to contain this physically. You know, you're not going to be able to just ignore it. So the best way, I guess, for the month is to just not let it drive you crazy and to not let it... Um, put a, a rift between you and those you care about or those you work with. Just realize that this is a month where you're going to be a little bit persnickety and not take it personally. Um, also at the Keep this month we're going to have Adam Bernstein. Many of you know Adam and he's a, a medium and an intuitive and he'll be here on April 20th so uh, please go to the site and uh, check him out. But again uh, thank you so much for supporting me at the Keep. Thank you for those of you that called me when I was out in California and had a phone reading or a Skype reading. Um, it was nice to stay in touch, and I do appreciate it. So uh, have a wonderful April. I know this reading doesn't sound like there's much of a chance of that, but, you know, it's not a horrible month. It's just a, going to be a little bit of an unrestful month. And I will see you in May when summer is uh, approaching us.
Thanks so much.